Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Uh, we're out in the fuel shed today. Uh, the now heated fuel shed. Got the diesel heater running. Haven't been tinkering with that yet. We'll get to that soon. But uh, right now she's running on straight diesel fuel. And uh, our uninsulated shed is currently sitting about 70 degrees. I think that's a little high reading wise. It's probably closer to 60 in here. Uh, I just brought that out from the house, so that's probably why it's reading a little high. But anyways, I need to rerun the one micron bag test. So I'm not going to bore you with the setup and everything. I don't want this video to be drug out like the first one was. Uh, so I'm going to go out, fill the bucket up with uh, oil from outside, and I'm going to run that directly through the centrifuge without doing anything to it. We'll get some weights before and after, and uh, then we're going to run another five gallon batch through the one micron filter and see the difference that way. I just want to verify our first uh, our results we found in part one because uh, some stuff wasn't adding up to me. So we're going to get this done and hopefully it doesn't take too long. But uh, yeah, I'll try to be fairly brief and not get too bogged down with the details because you guys know how we're going to do it if you watch part one. So anyways, we're gonna get at it. So we're pumping our uh, test pass oil from this tote right here. This is 20W40 locomotive oil from a new supplier. And I tell you what, this stuff is thick, but it's also 20 degrees outside. So that uh, might have something to do with it. But uh, anyways, uh, I've got the centrifuge bowl in the ultrasonic right now. Uh, we'll get an empty weight on that here in just a minute. We'll get this loaded up and get it ran and get a uh, after batch weight and see where we're at. I'm interested to see just how dirty this stuff is because it's from a new supplier. So uh, yeah, and I've got more to pick up. So if it comes out clean, we'll be good. But uh, yeah, we'll get this batch ran, get weights and uh, move on. Our test pass bucket is full. Now, I'm gonna go on and take this bucket back out and uh, refill it for batch number two cause the weather's only getting colder and uh, I don't have to fight pumping that again. So yeah, I'm gonna go fill that up and uh, I'm just waiting on the centrifuge bowl to get cleaned up and we'll get some weights and get these batches ran. Well, just got the bowl out of the ultrasonic. It is not spotless this time, but uh, that is okay cause we're gonna be doing before and after weights. So that'll tell us what we've removed. We're gonna do it with both batches like always. So, we're going to go on and zero this out. We're at 3 pounds, 13.3 ounces. I've also got another bucket full in here warming up. We are at 67 degrees in here right now, which is uh, beautiful considering it's like 25 outside. So. We're going to go on, get this all put back together, and start running that batch up there. Well, this batch is just about done, so we're going to go on and start running our uh, other bucket here through the one micron bag filter. I set it up a little differently this time, but yeah, I'm going to just pour it through and uh, Get it ready to run back up there. This might take a little while. Test batch number one just finished up. So the uh, sludge drain is uh, dumping the oil right now out of the bowl. So uh, once that finishes up, I'll go in and pop this lid off and we'll take a look and see just how dirty this uh it's 2040 locomotive oil 
is. And, uh, hopefully it's not super dirty, but uh, we'll see. And then I'm still working on filtering this stuff through. About a third of the way through the bucket. And I have forgotten just how much I hate filtering things. So anyways, that's gonna take a little bit because it's so cold, but it's okay. We'll get that done and uh, we'll get this pulled, get some weights on it, and I'll uh, wipe it out, get a clean weight on it, and get ready to run this next batch. So, just got the lid opened up. Fairly clean, really. But uh, got the rotor loosened, so I'm gonna go on and sit it down here on the scale. It is still really hot, so I'm going to try and do this quickly without making a huge mess. We are at three pounds, 14.6 ounces, as compared to three pounds, 13.3 ounces. So 1.3 ounces, roughly which is really clean it's interesting so i'm gonna wipe this rotor out just a little bit throw it back in and get ready to run the uh next batch which uh is still filtering got the rotor wiped out scale zeroed back out it is not spotless by any means but that's okay because we're doing a before and after we're at three pounds 13.85 ounces so we're gonna get this set back up and uh, run this filtered oil here uh, when it gets done, slowly but surely, and see the difference. I'm curious to see the difference and see if it uh, matches up with our first test. Figure might as well be as thorough as we can. But uh, yeah, this uh, 2040 locomotive oil seems to be really clean too, but uh, yeah. That's good to know for uh, future reference as far as my source is concerned. But yeah, gotta go on and throw this back in there and uh, get going on the next batch. Last little bit running through this bag and then we can finally get it pumped up there or pour it up there, I should say. But uh, yeah, this has taken an hour and a half to run approximately four and a half gallons of oil through this bag filter so it's time consuming so let's see if it's worth it well our gravity run through the one micron filter bag just finished up and i've got it dumped back in that bucket so i'm ready to start this thing up heater's already warming up so should be up and running here in a little bit and i'll let this run through I'm not going to bore you guys too much with it you've seen it a hundred times now but uh, yeah, I'll let it run through and we'll come back out and get some final weights on the bowl and do a little comparison. Well, this batch is done, so time to go on and shut it down. to go in and get cleaned up we're getting ready to head out for the night but uh i'm gonna finish this video up so i'll let this spin down gonna unhook the heater and uh we'll pop the lid on it and see how it looks we'll pull the bowl out get a weight on it and uh do a little comparison i'm going to pop this lid open it doesn't look too bad in there I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit longer to uh, finish draining the liquid oil out of the bottom. I'll pull the rotor and get a final weight on it and see where we're at. We were at 3 pounds, 13.8 ounces on the empty bowl. We're zeroed out right now. Oh, that's hot, hot, hot. Straight down. Three pounds, 14.35 ounces. So roughly half an ounce of material left in the rotor after being passed through the one micron bag filter. So without the bag filter, we were at 1.3 ounces thereabouts. With the bag filter, we're down to a half an ounce. So it is pulling out uh, 
what a little more than half of the material compared to uh, compared to what it was with nothing so yeah seems to work um, obviously the centrifuge is getting more out but hey the bag filter does work it does its job um, yeah so to wrap this up do the bag filters work yes um, you still need a way to dewater your oil uh, which will be important and this takes approximately the same amount of time as the centrifuge does it took about an hour hour and a half to run through five gallons i typically run five gallons an hour on the centrifuge so that's pretty comparable you do need a way to set up this bag filter to where you can uh, gravity feed through it um, wouldn't be too hard to set that up uh, an elevated drum kind of like i've got here with uh with a valve to set flow rate and just drop down into the bag filter which you could rig up something with a piece of pvc pipe or something that the filter would sit down in to support it and then into another drum you could do it that way uh, but yeah they work uh this would be my bare minimum for processing oil along with a way to dewater it uh, but yeah can you get away with doing this long term that's a toss-up uh potentially but in the long run you're going to spend quite a bit of money replacing these bag filters all the time uh 10 bucks a pop not sure this has had two passes through it and it has slowed down a good bit but i don't know if they can be cleaned or what have you they may be you may be able to do that so yeah this is a viable option to uh, get you going um, I still wouldn't rely on it 100% uh, if you're going to be doing this stuff long term invest in the centrifuge it's worth it uh, but if you don't know if you want to mess with it this will get you into it you can get into this for 10 10 15 bucks a couple buckets and a lot of time and some mess but it'll work but anyway so that wraps up our one micron bag test for now uh, next up, not sure what I'm going to test next. Uh, may go on and do a no heat pass on the centrifuge, do a comparison there. Uh, may mix in gasoline up on the uh, top drum, no heat, run it through the centrifuge, and then do a back to back comparison with heat. A lot of people have asked if uh, we can get away with doing that. Uh, so, we might check that out next. But uh, anyways, uh, if you uh, got any questions, comments, complaints, drop them in the comments section below. If you want to support the channel, uh, we've got Super Thanks enabled. We've got a PayPal account set up for the channel now. The link is in the description of every video. And yeah, that wraps it up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.